So if you're familiar with uh, Business Central, there is a standard um, item tracing um, uh, setup that's in the system, allows you to look at lot serial number information. We also have, um, we have item tracing that's uh, some additional functionality around uh, and with the lot management add-in. So I'm gonna go to lot, lot number information let's see if i go to the right page here so lot number information there we go all right so here are some lots that have been entered in the system and you'll notice i've got uh, traffic lights associated with those so again seeing that traffic lights can be um, implemented in multiple places uh, within the system i'm going to go up here to um, pro badge item tracing so with the standard item tracing window in Business Central, we have the ability to you know, get to line item information. So we can do a full trace on in, incoming and outbound transactions based on a given lot or serial number. This has got some enhanced features around it to look through and, and look at expiration dates. There's some additional filtering. I can look at components a little easier. I can determine uh, levels of detail that I would want. And if I want to explode, um, production order information. So additional features around item tracing that we don't have with the base product. But you know, in terms of functionality, that's it's, it's identical. It's just more information. If we then look at how I can configure um, lot uh, setups. So what we want to do is we're going to go to item tracking information next. Item tracking info status. Okay. So if you think about using lots, what, what the item tracking info status allows us to do is to really define a, a disposition or the state or the status of a given lot. So you can set up whatever you want, but is the lot blocked? Is it in QC? Is it quarantined? Is it released? So you can set up as many of these um, statuses that you want. And then over here on the right, you can determine what happens with uh, a lot or what can happen with a lot given a particular status. So nice thing about this is if you use the word quarantine, great, you can use the word quarantine. If you use the word QC, you can use the word QC. So very configurable in terms of uh, terms and the processes that you would wanna implement within your organization. So we're gonna set those things um, up first. Next thing we're gonna look at then is um, item tracking codes. So item tracking codes. And what an item tracking code uh, is, we've already looked at it, is the, is the configuration of how I want to use um, lot and serial numbers. What you're going to see then with item tracking codes is some additional features that are now available with the lot extension. And what we've got is the ability to determine what's the initial status of an incoming lot, what happens with drop shipments, and then we've got some settings on really picking. So when um, I purchase or I transfer in or I'm bringing into inventory a particular lot, I can determine what's its initial disposition. Is it blocked? Is it available? Does it go right to QC? So we can manage those incoming documents. And then if you know how drop ships work, you don't actually receive the inventory into your system. You know, you just do a pass through of the purchase to the receipt transaction. So we can basically manage that a little differently if you need to um, on that. So that's what we do. What's the initial status of an incoming lot? 